We are counting down the days to RebelCon, and virtual passes are now available at an early bird discount of $200 off the normal ticket price. This virtual pass gets you live access to all general sessions with our expert keynote speakers, as well as links to view the sessions later. This deal will end soon, so get your RebelCon virtual passes now. Hit the QR code for more info or visit rebelcon.marketrebellion.com. folks and welcome back to three at three every day at 3 p.m we try to bring you the best that we can as far as unusual option activity this is the 19th of august so that means this is regular expiration for august so in other words every option class except the vix has an expiration today now some have weekly expirations and those have already come and gone for the first part of august there will be another weekly expiration next week. But this is the third Friday of the month. So that means uh, that we've got an option expiration. And because of that, unusual option activity tends to really accelerate into each of these big expirations. So with that said, let's get started with today's three at three, the final one for the week of the 19th of, whoops, just one sec. I'll be right with you. I'm just taping uh, right now. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So with that said, folks, <laughs> let's get started. Here we go. Um, Bed Bath & Beyond. The reason I show you this one is um, that there's a lot of funky stuff that went on in Bed Bath & Beyond. BBBY. You guys saw it just two days ago. It was zooming up 69% and then collapsing yesterday which was the 18th and today the 19th. Let's take a look at that for a second. In July, the average of all options that were trading in July, 72% were call options and 28%, of course, the other part uh, were put options. There's the uh, blue angels going overhead. Um, the average daily volume of calls traded, 65,000 contracts, puts traded, 25,000 contracts. Okay, not terrible volume, but certainly not like what we've seen in the last couple of days. August 16th and 17th, um, the percentage of puts trading spiked to nearly 50 50. In, in other words, instead of a real minority of the options that were trading, they almost went uh, parallel or uh, same level as calls traded and 600,000 puts changed hands. Now, if you're somebody who doesn't trade uh, derivatives, what you need to know is when puts trade excessively like that, that's a bet to the downside. They're betting that something's going down. Now, my, you know, trader brain says that, oh, was that Ryan Cohen? Because Ryan Cohen, of course, was RC Ventures. Um, he's the founder of uh, Chewy. He's also the chairman of GameStop. Oh, and um, he is a significant or was a significant holder of uh, Bed Bath & Beyond stock and maybe options too. He definitely had upside uh, calls. And my question is, was he part of that spike in the puts that were trading on the 16th and 17th prior to him making the announcement with a 144 filing that he was exiting the entire position? Boom, both hands. He's not just selling one or 2%, he sold the whole position. So um, that's just something that I'd like to explore at some point in the future is how much of those 600,000 puts that were changing hands were Mr. Cohen and or the brokerage that he was going through following on his trades. Not saying he did anything wrong, I'm just saying I'm curious because I'm a curious guy. All right, let's get started with I'll look back at some of the other trades that have been working out. You remember a little over a week ago, I talked about ARKK puts. Look at that, 26,000 October 51 puts. What does that mean? That's, for instance, folks, 26,000 is 2.6 million share equivalent. 
Um, in other words, short, short, short. Again, just like those puts we were talking about um, over in uh, Bed Bath & Beyond. Somebody was betting big that this was going down with the stock at 52 or the um, uh, ETF or mutual fund. Um, this ARK, A-R-K-K, I just reported, um, I believe, yesterday. And that was the ARK Innovation. Uh, they were buying the 4850 puts, which were just in the money because it was 47. Now look at it, down 6% today. This is why you follow unusual activity, folks, because frequently big traders, whether it's Ryan Cohen or whomever out there, when somebody buys 26,000 puts, they think they know something. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. Um, but I want to follow those big traders, and that's what I do. So ARC Innovation, these puts paid off big time uh, because the stock fell by, as you can see, almost $3 just a little bit ago when I put this slide up, 6% slide. That's enough. Yeah. If you made, uh, if you shorted a bunch, you know, a thousand shares, congratulations, you made nearly $3,000 on that uh, $47,000 uh, investment. We did a lot better folks with a much smaller investment. Bang. That's why we trade options. You want to see another reason we trade options? Well, the Rebel Edge. Uh, Pete and I do the Rebel's Edge every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Now, we're going to be expanding that coverage soon, and we'll have some big announcements about who our partners are for doing that. But Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Tune in for that because we also talk about unusual option activity on that program, 1 p.m. Eastern time. Target, how about this one? Also from yesterday, stock was 172. They're buying 5,000 puts, you know, 5,000 is 500,000 share equivalent. I'm pretty sure most of you know this, but every option, unless otherwise defined, is for 100 shares of stock. So if somebody buys one option, that's 100 shares of stock that that one option controls. So if they buy 5,000, you'd multiply 5,000 times 100, 500,000 share equivalent. So they're buying a lot of D60 puts. When I talked about it yesterday, I said, are they buying these puts because of back to school sales might be soft? We already know that they were pushing out a lot of inventory that uh, Mr. Cornell, CEO over there, said they had way too much inventory. They were shoving it out the door and needing to cut price, which meant margin shrinkage. Well, here we got 160 puts being bought yesterday. We took advantage of it, bought at the money 172 and 170 area and look at it today, down 3.2%, 167.49, bang already working. And these options don't expire until December, folks. So we're in the options. We're on the short side. We are selling to lock in some of these profits, lower strike puts, because if I buy a 170 put, for instance, and it falls to 167, I'm selling the 165 puts against it. That kind of one-to-one -one trade doesn't expose me more. It, in fact, it takes money off the table, locks in some of my profits, and still lets me participate to the downside. Bang. Want to learn more about that? Come on over to Market Rebellion. We can show you how it works. How about this? American Airlines flew them yesterday. 18,800 puts at the 14 strike. So these puts expire next Friday. Not this Friday, next Friday. How do I know? Because it says 26th of August on there. So the 26th of August, 14 puts with the stock just shy of 15. Today, it's down better than 5%. Market's not down five. These are down five. That's outperformance. That's the alpha that you're looking for when we follow unusual activity. So those puts already taking some profits, taking 50% off because that's what I do when I get a 100% return. I'm not talking about 10% returns or 5% returns or whatever. I'm talking about 100% on my money. That's what you can do with options. And it happens that fast, folks.
if you'd like to learn more about doing that with a whole bunch of really smart people, as well as our smart people from Market Rebellion. When I say smart people, I mean people like you that want to learn about trading options. Come learn at RebelCon 2022. RebelCon 2022 is in Dallas, Texas. Go to marketrebellion.com forward slash Dallas to learn more. We're at the Four Seasons. It's going to be a fabulous time. We've got a golf tournament. We've got armadillo races. We've got barbecues. We've got great um, educational offerings throughout those four days, folks, as well as um, the opportunity for you to see two days of live trading with us where ourselves, myself and Pete, as well as our team is going to be there describing how we do what we do. So if you want to learn that, by all means, come on over to RebelCon 2022. All right, let's start with, uh, let's see, first trade, Apple. Why? Well, there's Steve Jobs, um, Apple founder, uh, co-founder, I guess. Technically, there were three, um, and two of them stuck around and became billionaires, uh, Steve Jobs and, of course, Wozniak. Uh, the third sold his shares for a pittance, sadly. Anyway, Apple, 172. They're buying 14,000 of the December 175 calls. So strike price, 175, approximately $3 above where that stock is trading. 14,000 is 1.4 million shares. 1.4 million shares of $172 stock. You know, when somebody puts on a potential $200 million position, do you want to follow that trader? Or do you want to just say, ah, eh, it doesn't mean anything. It means something. Just like that. Those are the Blue Angels. That means something too. And we thank them for their service. But anyway, Apple Computer uh, used to be called. Now it's just Apple. And 172, they're buying $3 out of the money calls. I'm buying at the monies and selling upside calls later because this is slow time decay. Because look at that, December 175 calls. How about this one? Next one, Capital One, COF, Capital One bearish puts. They buy nearly 10,000. That's nearly a million shares short, potentially, in here at the 105 strike. So is somebody going to sell it at 105 when it's trading 112? Not likely. But are they betting that it might drop to 105? Yes. So um, bearish puts, 112 is where the stock was. They bought nearly a million share equivalent on the short side by owning those October 105 puts. All right, third and final of today's three at three. U.S. regulator says Berkshire Hathaway can buy up to 50% of Occidental shares. Are they going to do it? Well, Oxy, somebody steps in and says, you know what? If Warren Buffett's adding to his position and might take it all the way to 50% before he buys it, um, 27,000, that's 2.7 million share equivalent of those next Friday. So that's not a lot of time. Next Friday, August 26th, 70 calls. So where's the stock trading right now? 69. Where are they betting? It goes to by next week or higher, 70. So Occidental Petroleum, you know, Berkshire and Warren Buffett have a very large stake already. They could be expanding that stake. That trade, 27,000 of those calls, could be somebody coattailing on Mr. Buffett, and it could be Mr. Buffett himself buying on behalf of Berkshire. He is one of the biggest derivatives traders in the world. That's going to do it for me, folks. If you'd like to learn more, sign up for the virtual RebelCon. That's the virtual RebelCon. It will be going on the 21st through the 24th of September. You get a virtual pass, and if you buy that pass before August 25th, you get it for $200 off. So check it out. If you can't come to Dallas for whatever reason for September 21st through the 24th, by all means, get the virtual pass. You save $200 if you do it before the end of next week. Do it now, sign up, or come see us live if you can. The marketrebellion.com, RebelCon 2022. That's going to be in Dallas, Texas. Go to marketrebellion.com forward slash Dallas. 
That's marketrebellion.com forward slash Dallas. I'll see you next week, folks. Bang. Have a nice weekend.